so i welcome you to the lecture series on introduction to cyber security and today our topic is monitoring with process manager and myself dr dibbaj dibora presenting you the lecture series on ics and you guys already know that this topic belongs to basic dynamic analysis of malware now what is process monitor process monitor or procmon is an advanced monitoring tool for windows that provides a way to monitor certain registry file system network process and threat activity so you know this process monitor is used to monitor what registry file system network process and threat activity okay in that way you will get to know about the current activities of different files so it combines and enhances the functionality of two legacy tools that is filemon and regmon and these are very famous ones although currently not supported but their functionality being combined to get procmon okay so process monitor monitors and records all actions attempted against the microsoft windows registry now one question for you listen carefully and answer through comment what is registry means what do you understand by registry okay so do comment it now process monitor can be used to detect failed attempts to read and write registry keys it also allows for filtering on specific keys processes process ids and values so these are the very important tasks do remember whenever some process is related to registry that is very important for us and that will reflect to your answer in the comment box that what do you actually understand by registry okay so uh, process monitor also allows filtering of specific keys processes process ids and values in addition it shows how applications use files and dlls detect some critical errors in system files and more so you can understand that some of the serious works being monitored or performed to process monitor now i have mentioned file mon in the previous slide that filemon and regmon their capabilities or their functionalities being combined to have procmon so let's have an idea about filemon filemon from a concatenation of file and monitor file okay then mon stands for monitor this was a free utility for 32 64 bit microsoft windows operating systems which provided users with a powerful tool to monitor and display file system activity but this is no longer supported then we have regmon the regmon utility from sys internals provided forensics on windows registry uses also this one is no longer supported so that is our filemon and regmon now let's have some idea about the screenshot that how procmon is working so you will see this is the process monitor uh, screenshot although it is not very clear you have a idea about that how the how actually it is monitoring all the different processes because they are locations okay and details everything is uh, obtained from process monitor okay that's an uh, means overview now let's again have an overview of different process monitor capabilities and they are more data captured for operation input and output parameters non destructive filters that will allow you to set filters without losing data so non destructive filters being supported through process monitor capability and that is a very I mean, you, you know very good tool actually okay because you are not going to lose any data you can filter uh, whatever you want 
then capture of trade stacks for each operation make it possible in many cases to identify the root cause of an operation that is also very important you should note it down then reliable capture of process details including you know image path command line user and session id then configurable and movable columns for any event property then Filters can be shared for any data field, including fields not configured as columns. Advanced logging architecture scales to tens of millions of captured events and gigabytes of log data. Then process tree tools will show you relationship of all processes referenced in a trace. And this is also very important. I frequently use this one. Then native log format preserves all data for loading in a different process monitor instances and we have process tooltip for easy viewing of process image information then detailed tooltip allows convenient access to formatted data that does not fit in the column then you know cancelable search boot time logging of all operations so you see the, these are the very important functions or you can say the capabilities of process monitor all these things we can monitor with PROC1. Well, so we have seen its interesting capabilities. So let's have an overview of its loopholes also, drawbacks also. So some drawbacks. Although PROC1 captures a lot of data, but do mind it that it doesn't capture everything. What does it mean? Say for an example, it can miss the device driver activity of a user mode component talking to a root kit via device input output controls, as well as certain GUI calls such as you know set windows hook X like that. Okay, that is one drawback. It may not capture everything. Then, although Procman can be a useful tool. It usually should not be used for logging network activity because you know it doesn't work consistently across Microsoft Windows version. This is one more drawback of this problem. So, although these two are drawbacks that I have shown to you, but we have seen that many important capabilities of process monitor. So I hope you have got that what is process monitor. Okay, from which do important tools it has been formed, that is Philemon and Regmon. Okay, then, so we may come to our questions for this lecture. And questions for this lecture are, what is process monitor or procmon? And what are the tasks that can be performed with procmon? But listen carefully. One more question I have asked in the midst of the lecture. What was that? I will wait for that answer. So first of all, you will answer, you will comment the answer of the question, first question that I have asked in the midst of the lecture. After that, you will answer this too. So guys, that's all for today. Take care. Bye-bye.